Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's Maria Nairobi for all the ones that's returning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and all my new babes. Hey girl, hey. All right, y'all. So I'm still getting over my cold. Um, so my voice seems a little weird. This is, will be another vlog. Happy Vlogmas. The best time of the year. I am preparing for my Jamaica vacation. I did just do a lash set. Um, I did not film it just because I have multiple videos of me doing um, a lash set. This is a cluster lash set. And I purchased these um, lashes off of Amazon here. And I, I feel like I'm so behind, y'all. Like, I was doing so much for Nairobi, preparing for her holiday show. And if you didn't watch that vlog, definitely check that out. And getting stuff for her teachers and other things. Like, I just, time just got away from me. Um, I still have to do my, my wig. I have to do my nails. I have to get my eyebrows arched. So I'm going to try to get my do my nails really quick and then head to the nail salon. I need to go to the beauty supply store. Um I need to pack. I don't have I have no idea what I'm actually going to even be wearing. So it's a lot of stuff that I have to do. Um that I'm going to try to get done. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. I probably won't show me actually doing my nails just because I've shown you guys multiple times. Um I'm going to do a white um white toe and then these are the nails that i'm going to go for i think these are super cute both of these were purchased from shein i'm trying to think if it's anything else that's basically it i just need to get on the ball i do i didn't take off work today so there's that <laughs> um so yeah i have a lot to do so i haven't bleached my wig i haven't done anything so i'm a good going to get on that and i'll be back to show you babes updates see you bye all right y'all so i actually got my nails done they look so cute i love them i really do really how i wanted them to come out bling bling is real so now i'm about to head to the um the nail salon and then the beauty supply store so i'm making my way y'all i'm making my way <laughs> hi your eyebrows yeah two six seven mm -hmm. seven three just got to the nail salon i'm so happy about my nails they look so cute so i have like two people in front of me and then they gotta be done <laughs> Hey y'all, so I actually had to leave they, and that's why I wanted to do an appointment and they told, I called and they said they don't do eyebrow appointments, but I'm like, I definitely, the last time I got my eyebrows done, I did an appointment. I made an appointment just so I won't have to wait. They're like, no, you don't need one. You could just come in. And it's three people. Well, one was in the chair and two other people waiting. Um, and everyone is getting like brows, tent, brow tent and um, a lash incision. So that's going to take too long. So I'm going to actually just arch my own eyebrows. That's what I normally did. But I do like the arch. Um, like the wax. Um, eyebrow better. Than just using a razor. So that's why I wanted to go there. But it is what it is. I'll just go home and arch my own eyebrows. Um, just because I can't wait. Like she's on a second person. She's getting the eyelashes, and then it's another person sitting there, and then another person walked up and sat in the chair. So it's just like, yeah, I'm not with you. Did all that to do that? Stupid, you crazy, yo. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to head to the beauty supply store. I don't have a lot of time, and I ain't got time to wait. And that's why I wanted an appointment, but whatever. Good thing I know how to do things myself. Hey, babes. So, all right, I did do a ball cap method um, off camera. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about how to do a ball cap. Um, the ball cap method, it is not mandatory, but I do think that it gives like a cleaner finish. And for me, I like, I think it's like an extra layer of protection. At least I feel that way. So here I am putting the, the unit on. This unit was purchased from Amazon. 
it is 28 inches it's in a deep wave i believe and it's 13 by 6 it did say um that it was plucked and already bleached um, I will have all the details of the wig and the link in the description box. But basically, I am cutting the wig to match the size of my head. I am going in and uh, plucking the wig. It says that it was plucked, but I just wanted to pluck it a little more. Um, and you'll see later on, y'all. Like, I did all this plucking basically for nothing. But anyway... Um, I do like the pluck on my head because I'm just, I think it's perfect because you can see how it's actually going to look. Just to get rid of all the flyaways, I am using the, the wax stick. And the wax stick basically just lays your hair down. Then I'm just following up with my hot comb. I purchased that from Amazon. And again, you want no flyaways. So when you're gluing your wig down, it's a lot easier. You don't have like pieces of hair in the glue. Now I'm going in with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure all of the residue from makeup or whatever else is off the perimeter of my hair. Then I'm following up with the witch hazel. The witch hazel for me is just like an extra barrier to protect my skin um, from the glue. Then I'm going in with the, the glue. I am going to have it in the description box. I actually do not remember the name of this glue. I'm so sorry. Uh, but it is a glue that I used before. I decided to use the active version because I knew that I would be going to Jamaica and my hair would be getting wet. I did do three layers. I'm using a popsicle stick to lay it all down. I, for me, it's just the best way to do it. I don't like using the comb because the comb, it just gets sticky and it's just way, it's messy. So this is the second layer. You want to make sure that it is drying clear and you want to use the cold setting on your blow dryer. I highly, highly recommend using the blow dryer because you want these layers to dry, not dry completely, but you do want them to dry clear. And you see here, I'm just making sure that it's get it's drying clear with the cool setting. And then I'm going to go in with my last layer. And you do want to be quite generous, but not like not, it's hard to say, like not too much, even though it looked like I went OD. But people go even more than this. But like you want enough where it's going to stick, but you don't, you want to make sure it's even, evenly spread out around the area. And now that I'm watching this video, I noticed that on the um, left side, or I guess my right side, um it I didn't put like a third layer it's only I kind of did it from like a little uh, past half and then yeah whatever Maria <laughs> I don't know what I did there but you do want to make sure that it's even layers straight across now I'm just pulling the wig down and since it's not like a got to be gel or anything you can use your hands to press it in um I'm using my hands and my fingers and a comb um, but if you notice, I pulled that thing too far down, y'all. Now I knew I was wrong. Look how close it is to my eyebrow. Girl, bye. So I'm cutting the, 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 uh, the two the tabs in, um, just so it's easier when I'm trying to cut the lace off. So I just did two, um, slits and then now I'm starting to cut the wig and you'll see like I had to cut it back. So all of that plucking I did, I had to cut all that area off. So now I'm literally looking like I'm off an Asian like karate flick when they have those type of like, you know, units on. Um, and yeah, it's like that's not how a hairline looks naturally. Um, so yeah, you're going to see me start having to pluck that bad boy again. But yeah, so it's all glued down at this point. I always, always, always follow up with a holding spray. This is the even spray that I use on all of my wig install videos. You can get it from any of your um, your beauty supply store or Amazon. Um, I think they have a red, a black, and I think that's the two colors. But yeah, I use the, the black. Um, so here you're going to see me go in and try to pluck these. like Because this is crazy, y'all. That's wild. Um, so I'm pulling out the baby hairs, um, and pulling out the baby hairs is really going to help me know where I really need to pluck because I know how I, I like my hairline to look. So I'm pulling out the ear tabs. Um, I don't know what they're really called. I guess the ear tabs. I don't know. Little sideburns. Um, and then I'm just going to pluck that entire area. 
and you'll see me go back a bit again and again and again just to like make sure that it's perfect or at least to my liking again you do not have to pluck if you don't want to but for me i did not feel like it was natural in that time. All right, so now I'm going back in with the even holding spray um, and I'm spraying right around where I'm going to be laying my baby hairs. Again, I am about to be on a beach in Jamaica and I just want extra security. So that's why you see me just spray a little more um, on there. So I have extra, extra security. Then I'm going in back in with my bowl jar just to make sure that it is drying because I am going to be plucking. So you don't want to put like something, a wet substance on your unit and then go straight into um, plucking because you can lift it. Now I'm just putting on my, uh, my setting band and then now I am going to start my part and basically start styling. I'm going back in with the wax um, because again, it really, really helps you lay that thing down flat, flat. Then I followed up with some mousse. I believe that's Tresemme mousse. And then I'm just going to hot comb it. And now like this is the perfect time when you're trying to melt your lace to start styling. I did decide that I wanted a side part. And you'll see I did bleach this unit, um, but I kind of over bleached it. And you'll see like that red, um, like the red undertones and like it kind of got on the um, the base of the hair. So no problem at all. You'll see me later on going with the mascara just to fill in the roots so it can make that you could define the part. But yes, this hair is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So soft. Like I felt like this was my real hair, y'all. Um, Again, I'm going back in with the wax stick because I just, again, I want to make it flat, flat. I want to really, really, really define that part. And I'm telling you, if you got a wax stick and you got a hot comb that gets hot, that's all you need to do on the flattest possible. like glue and wax residue off um and then i'm going to go in with my victoria's secret um curlers i think it's like a half an inch i believe 
Um, I originally did not believe in like curling your edges, your baby hair is like, oh man, you really don't need it. But when I say it helps you so much form your, your, um, your styling, your baby hairs, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, so after curling them, I go in with my gummy, um, gel. I really, really like this, um, gel for your, your baby hairs. Um, and then now I'm just playing around with it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm cutting pieces that need to be cut and I just keep messing with it using my index finger, um, and the comb on the edge brush. And you just keep playing with it until you're liking. I will say that with baby hairs, like you just got to keep practicing, um, and eventually you'll get it and you'll know like what's your <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Even Melting Spray. This works so much wonders. Like, so it does multiple things. So first, if you have like a white cast over your, um, your lace or just any like extra residue that's making your lace look off, put that on there um, and it will take that cast away. And also it would just lay your lace flat. Like, so it's literally seamless. Um, like you really can't tell where your lace and your regular skin meet. If you haven't already, definitely get you some. You can find it at the beauty salon store or on Amazon. That melting spray works wonders. Thank you, even. Now I'm just going in with my Ruby Kiss um, tinted um, powder. It's specifically made for your unit. This is something that I've been using for quite a while now. And it, I have the light brown. I'm going to put a picture somewhere around here. Um, but it really, really, really helps blend everything. Again, I want my part to look really defined and natural. So I am going in with the powder and like a small makeup brush just to fill in the part to match it um, with my scalp color. Since I did over bleach this unit, it is it does have like an orange undertone. So like an orange red undertone. So that's why I'm going in with this lighter powder just to make that part pop and make it look better. All right, so I am now going to put the band on, my melting band on for the last time just to make sure everything is melted and dry. 
Um, and then I'm going to brush these curls out because I do want to go. I was actually heading to the airport. I do want to go to the airport with um, my melting band on and with my hair brush. Now, babes, this is the final look. That's how I went to the airport. This is without the melting band on. I absolutely love how this came out. I love how it looked when it's the curls are brushed out, but I really love the wet look. Thanks for watching, babes.